it's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Tennessee Titans and the Chicago Bears coming up next. Now from the second city of Chicago, head down Lakeshore Drive and you find Venerable Soldier Field, home of the Bears. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson, partner. A couple of teams that were cellar dwellers a year ago, but as we've seen being around the league for a while, man, that can change one season to the next. And how often do we see, Mike, a team that finished at the bottom of their division just a year later be the division champion? I'm not suggesting that it's easy or necessarily that these two teams are going to find themselves in that position. But the NFL is made up of a formula that says you don't have to stay long forever. If you make the right decisions, you can go from worst to first very quickly. All right, we're just about set for football. The crowd is definitely ready. So are we. Off we go on EA Sports. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. Titans coming up with their quarterback, Will Levis. Good performance last year. Taken early in that second round in the 2023 draft. Greg, this quarterback out of Kentucky could be the future for Tennessee. I think when you break down this game, Mike, I think it's really quite simple. I think it really comes down to the age hold. Hey, be balanced on offense. Can their passing attack and rushing attack complement each other because what that does is it makes the defense defend the entire field and then the number one goal of every team every week in the NFL no self-inflicted negatives that's tackles for loss sacks and then of course the most important one don't turn the ball over It's Levis. Oh, no, right at the start, he loses the football. But this is taken in by a teammate. These are the opportunities that just kill defensive coordinators. You got the ball loose. You did everything you want. But now you got to recover it. You need better pursuit to the ball, more bodies around the ball carrier. Because when that ball pops out, you've got to be on it. These opportunities don't come around often. And when they do, you got to seize the moment. Throwing now on third and long. This one is taken in downfield. Big completion. And he's going to be taken down inside the 40-yard line. It's a big one for Tennessee. 42 yards. When we had a chance to talk to the coach the other day, what did he tell us, Mike? He said, I want to come out and be aggressive right from the start. And with that big shot downfield here early, I think it's pretty safe to say that's exactly what they have done. Now the key is, can they turn that explosive play into an opening drive touchdown and really get off to a fast start? On first and 10, here's Levis. That caught Tony Pollard. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Levis. He runs with it. And he will slide to a halt, but he does have the first down. And this is what you like to see if you're the head coach. Not only does your quarterback know exactly where that first down marker is, he's able to pick up the first down, but then get himself on the ground. He avoids the big hit and picks up the first down. Hopkins sent in motion. Levis to throw on first and ten. Our throw here, right side, falls incomplete. 
Seems like the quarterback was a little predetermined in his read. I think he decided even before seeing the coverage where that ball was going. Next time, read the coverage. Let the play unfold. Don't force something that's not there. Slot man in motion left. And this defense having nothing of that. They get him down behind the line. down. They'll set up to throw. He'll try to run for it. Good job breaking the pocket and going for 14 yards and most importantly a first down. And that just can't happen. Third and long. Just understand. Contain the ball. Rally tackle. Just get the ball carrier on the ground. Not only not able to get to him inside the pocket, He's able to extend the play with his legs and pick up a huge, long first down. On first down, Levis. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. That's one he'd love to have back. An opportunity to score six was right there for the taking. Just wasn't quite meant to be. We'll try again here. Second and ten. Oh, maybe a free play as he'll look to throw it. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. The throw is Levis. And as he threw it, the pass is incomplete. Third and five. Throwing is Levis. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. I'd say one of the most critical elements of a dynamic offense, Mike, is how efficient are you on third down? It's something these teams stress all week. So, Brian Callahan reaches for the flag, and this will be challenged. They're looking both at the feet to see if two were down, but also whether or not he had full possession of the football when those feet were down. So that challenge, a successful one. The veteran Nick Folk here for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Titans will take a 7-0 lead. Nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. Scott now on the return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. Now the return man is a bit slow getting up after that kick. And as the medical staff looks him over, we'll step aside. break the huddle 
Coming up now for first and ten. Now the former Eagle and Lion is back in the NFC North. It's DeAndre Swift just pushing guys away as he takes this forward for a gain of seven. Here's a second and three forthcoming. They'll go play action here with Williams. That's for the longtime charger. It's Keenan Allen. A lot of terrific quarterbacks from Southern California. And here's another one. The rookie gets his team a first down. We spent so much time talking about these receivers. How fast do they run, Mike? How high do they jump? But so often, the guys that have the most success in the NFL, it's the mental part of the game. It allows them to create separation, find soft spots in the defense, attack defenders. It's exactly what he's able to do here, and really nice connection. As a pass rusher, you don't always need to record a sack to make your presence felt. Creating pressure, move the quarterback, affect his timing. Those are all different ways to take pressure off your coverage unit. Williams to throw on second down. Pass is caught by DJ Moore. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. 11 yards on the pass there. Good for a Bears first down. Now some movement up front. Flags down. Mistake. Build first half continues. Throw it again. It's Williams. Brought in by the tight end, Cole Komet. How fast things can flip. You find yourself in first and a mile after taking a penalty on first down. But that chunk play there in the passing game now gets them back in sequence with the chains and brings up a more manageable second down. Williams to the air once more. Throw right side caught by Odunze. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Try to throw again. Here's Williams. He'll try to set up the screen here to Swift. He's taken down just shy of the 10. It's a pickup of 13 yards. Good for a Bears first down. How often do we see, Mike, the running back, they get a little too antsy and they go a little too fast on these screen plays. In this case, great job by the back. First, he let his offensive lineman go out. He then follows behind. That's the key to a good screen play. And he'll get two on this one before being taken down. They'll go again with Swift. And he'll get this close to a first down. Gets about seven, maybe a yard short of the first down. On third and a yard, it's Williams. That one, take it in. Keenan Allen, touchdown Chicago.
Now Cairo Santos to add the point after. He's got it. And the Bears come right back to tie it at seven. Each team one possession, each team a score. 7-7 seven, seven as they kick it off. This is fielded inside the five. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The Titans offense going to take over now for the second time. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at seven as they start this drive first and ten. The shotgun left. Open man downfield. It's DeAndre Hopkins with the grab. An ideal beginning to this drive. 24 on the first play. Here's Levis. Uh, first down throw there is incomplete. You talk about a quarterback getting bailed out. Man, that is a long, and as this defender enters the huddle, you see a bunch of his guys hitting him on the helmet, but I can promise you they're saying, next time, you got to come down with that one. The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. Throwing on second down. Levis was well, brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. From the gun, it's Levis. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. Pretty clear approach here, Mike. You're just trying to take advantage of the size of your tight end versus a smaller defender, and you're just saying box him out and go up for an offensive rebound and get the ball at its highest point. In this case, it falls incomplete, but if they continue to get that matchup, this quarterback's not going to shy away from giving his big tight end a shot. The home team's offense, ready to see what they can do on their second possession. We'll see how they want to attack things here, backed up deep in their own end. It's first and ten. play action. Here's William. He'll get this underneath to Swift. The defense dialed in. He's going backwards on that one. Taken down back in his own five. We call them safeties because they're usually the last line of defense, but not here. On this play, he's up there at the line of scrimmage attacking the offense and he takes him down for a negative play. Uh, give up the middle with Swift. Marked down up around the 18 yard line. Call it a gain of 13. First down, Chicago. Well, that run came at the perfect time, Mike. Anytime you find yourself backed up near your own goal line, the goal is to just start with one first down. They were able to get it here. Now you give a little breathing room, a little room to operate 
Fresh set of downs. Keep this drive alive. To the left side, into the hands of Moore. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders got a head start. They'll run. It's swift. He'll try to push forward. He'll wind up getting three yards with that one. The terrific interior performer Jeffrey Simmons on the stop. Here's third down and a few inches. He'll try to run for it. It's swift. And he's going to have a Bears first down. That'll be a pickup of about five as they convert on third and inches. I think everybody in the stadium saw that run coming, Mike, but good luck stopping it. I mean, all he really had to do was just fall forward, and it would be enough to pick up the first down. First and ten. Here's a handoff, and Swift running right into the second down at the 45. And he's going to be taken down. Give them 14 on that one. First down, Chicago. We are through one. Pair of sevens on the scoreboard. We're back to Soldier Field after this. take this up to the 48-yard line. Kenneth Murray, the linebacker, there on the stop. Here's second and nine. A run here with Swift. We'll get this to about midfield. Kenneth Murray, the linebacker, there on the stop. On third down, it's Williams. And that is incomplete. He was looking to get it to D.J. Moore. And it's going to lead to fourth down. So often we see when those balls get deflected up into the air, they usually turn into interceptions. I think the offense dodged a bullet here, and they're fortunate there was nobody in the area to come down with that pick. The visitors' offense ready to get back at it. They'll work in a tie game here in the second quarter. And get started with first and ten. Levis to throw. Oh, and a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. Unfortunately, Mike, over my career, I've been in this guy's shoes plenty of times, probably more than I wish to admit. You take your eyes off the ball. You think about becoming a runner before securing the catch, and when you do that, 
You end up watching the ball fall to the ground. He'll look for Pollard out of the backfield. He'll be brought down. It was a nice pickup, but a penalty flag on the play. Early indications of a hold. They run it straight ahead with Pollard. And he's pushing tacklers away as he takes it forward for a gain of nine. They come to the line needing 11 here on third down. Now Levis. He'll get this into the hands of Ridley complete. And he'll be taken down up past the 40-yard line. They'll pick up 23 on that one. That's good for a Titan first down. To throw is left. It's to the left side, caught by Ridley. Second down throw here for Levis. Connecting with his tight end, Okonkwo. Now a third and two. We'll try and run for the first down with Pollard. That's a heck of a stop by this defense early in this game, Mike, and it sets up a decision for the offense. How aggressive do you want to be? You might be a little too far away to attempt a realistic field goal, but you might be a little too close to get anything out of the punt unit. I think I'm keeping the offense on. I'm trying to extend this drive, and I'm being aggressive here. Early. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now. The punt for the second time, looking to pin the opponent back deep. DeAndre Swift and the Bears offense set for their next possession. They'll do so with first and ten. This drive will begin with a run by Swift. And good blocking up front, paving the way for a gain of eight on the ground. Another run here, another run by Swift. He'll work his way for about four yards. And that's good enough for a first down. This is a situation that play callers love to be in, Mike. They have all their options on the table. Second and short. Play action pass. You can run. In this case, they choose to keep it on the ground. Play it safe. Pick up the first down. They will run it over center with Swift. Trying to avoid tacklers there, but the ball is out. Oh, man, Greg, those must be scary times for a player. Not that it happened to you often, but he lost the ball but was able to get it back and avoid the turnover. Well, Mike, I hate to admit it, but unfortunately, I was in that situation <laughs> a few times. And I'll tell you what, when that ball pops out of your hand, the only thing on your mind is, is there anything I can do to get it back? In this case, he was able to get it back, and he dodged a bullet. I think that play probably results in a completion if that protection just holds up a little bit longer. 
it was that initial pressure in the face of the quarterback that forced him to get rid of that ball a little bit earlier than he wanted. Disrupts that timing, ruins the play. On third down, it's Williams from the gun. He's got his man. Allen with the connection. And he will have a first down, but I don't think that's going to stand. They're already heading backwards. Third and long. Here's Williams. Ah, the pressure too much, and he goes down. Quarterback just has to get this ball out of his hands. I understand giving your guy a chance to pick up the first down. Let's see if he can get some space downfield past the sticks and put one on him. But once it's clear that's not going to work, this ball either needs to be thrown away, checked down, but you certainly don't want to continue to go backwards. Here's Torrey Taylor now as he's on to punt for the second straight drive. Fair catch is called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. The visitors' offense getting set to get back to work. They'll begin with first and 10. to start this drive up the sideline past midfield and he is out of bounds all the way down at the 35 yard line what a way to kick off a drive that's a gain of 30 and another first down big hole up the middle the interior of this offensive line did a great job clearing some space the back saw it quick and he hit it next thing you know he was in the secondary for a big pickup They'll go back to Pollard on first down. And they're going to get him down this time. Not as easy as the last carry. This time they drop him behind the line of scrimmage. Second down. And before the snap, we have a whistle. And this could very well be a false start. Play action, here's Levis. He's going to put it up, take a shot for Hopkins. You know, Mike, there's the saying in the NFL, take what the defense gives you. But that's not always the case. Sometimes you have to force a ball downfield. Show the defense you are willing to take big shots. Even though they weren't able to connect, it's going to have an impact the rest of the game. From the gun on third down, here's Levis. Looking middle, and he's got Ridley. It is a pickup of 18, and by a yard, they get the third down conversion. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Now, Levis. Hart, right side. It's Hopkins. On second down, Levis. And the Titans are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points.
They'll run here. It's Pollard. And he's going to go backwards on that one. They take him down back at the six-yard line. A loss was definitely not something they had accounted or budgeted for in this spot. And now, I think it really limits what do you feel comfortable dialing up here on second and goal. Second and goal. Now it's from the six-yard line. Here's Levis. That's hauled in at the two. And he's so close to the goal line. Couldn't get that ball extended. They keep him out, and it sets up third and goal. a design run and he is not going to get in to make the tackle at the line of scrimmage and that's going to bring up fourth and goal you could see the quarterback once he got the snap he was looking for any seam any daylight but nothing materialized and he's fortunate he got back to the line of scrimmage Well, a field goal would break the tie, but instead the offense stays out there. They're going to go for it on fourth and goal. They'll run for it, and it's Pollard. He slams it in there, and he is in. Tony Pollard, touchdown Titans. So they decide to go for the touchdown, and Greg, they get rewarded on fourth and goal with the six points. Yeah, I think the safe bet there is you settle for the field goal and you're happy coming off the field with points. But not this play caller. He rolls the dice a little bit. But give credit to the offensive line. They created just enough of a lane for this back to take it in for six. Folk now for the extra point. He gets it to go. And the Titans will move out to a 14-7 lead. Once more as the kicks away. Valus Jones now on the return. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30 yard line. So out comes the Chicago offense as they get set to take over once more. They trail now 14 to 7 as they'll come up for first and 10. start on the ground with Swift into the secondary at the 45 and he'll be taken down they'll gain 17 on that one a very quick first down the ability to be effective on first down Mike it just makes everything else easier in the event you do have to face a third down down the road they're usually a lot more manageable situations a lot easier to convert Set to go now on first and ten. Working out of the gun, here's Williams. Pressure gets there, and down he goes. And now we're seeing the game kind of go back and forth. Each team trading blows, trying to establish control over the other. Nice chunk play on the previous play. The defense responds back with a sack, and... We're going to see which team can establish a little bit more of this control as the game unfolds. And this drive is a disaster. He goes down for a third consecutive time. I think the most frustrating element to all of this is when you look downfield, there's guys open. There's plays to be made downfield in the passing game, but quite frankly, the pass protection has just been so bad that they haven't been able to take advantage of any of it from the shotgun. It's Williams. Catch 
It's made there by Allen. And he is out of bounds all the way down at the 35-yard line. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. There's a reason certain guys, Mike, just always seem to be open. It's really because route running is more art than it is science. How do you manipulate the defense to find open spots or win versus man to create separation and earn the trust of your quarterback? Here's Williams on first and 10. Work in the middle of the field, but that is incomplete. There was no hesitation from the quarterback from the jump. He knew where he wanted to go with that ball, but still leads to an incompletion. They're just still not quite on the same page. They'll run out of the gun. It is Swift. And he'll work his way down inside the 30. Chewing off seven yards on that one. They'll come up to third and three. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. That's caught. Left side, it's complete. And he will have the first down. The drive will continue after a pickup of eight. Everyone always assumes that you only want to run drag routes or crossing routes just underneath like mesh concepts against man coverage, but so often they're equally as effective against the zone all it takes under pressure and down he goes they got him that's a second charge timeout to chicago clock will stop with 33 seconds to go until halftime Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Here's Williams now to throw. Got his man at the six. And he's very close to a touchdown. They mark him just shy of the goal line. It'll be first and goal after a pickup of 27. Now, Williams. That's going to wind up incomplete. Not much time remaining. Time for one more snap here in this first half. Let's give credit to that pass rush for making their presence felt. And although it didn't result in a sack, it's the disruption of the timing that's just enough to force that incompletion. Santos's kick is good. And the Bears are back within four at 14 to 10. Just one second remaining in this first half, and they will kick it away. This one will be taken in the end zone. No run back forthcoming. And the ball coming out to the 30-yard line. They'll come up here first and 10. Levis to throw. That's deep, looking for Boyd. That's going to be incomplete. They took a shot on the final play. Prayer not answered. And that is how this first half will come to an end. Okay, Mike, thank you. More from you and Greg in a moment. But for now, welcome one and all to our EA Sports Halftime Reports.
It was a strong first half for running back Tony Pollard. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. These two teams ready for the second half, and so are we. So let's get you back out to Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Coach, thank you. Both teams trying to find the right formula to come out on top in this second half. Coming up. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. Scott now on the return. He's to midfield. And they will finally track him down, but not before he takes this to the other side of midfield. And this is just more of the same, picking up exactly where he left off in the first half. And these numbers, Mike, as you see him, they just pop out at you. I mean, he has been the driving force of this offense from the very start. Swift gets it from the pistol. And he'll move this ahead for about four yards. Kenneth Murray, the linebacker, there on the stop. Here's a second and six. Here's Williams. Quick throw, taken in. And they'll take this down inside the 35. A gain there of 11. First down, Chicago. To throw, it's Williams. That's a short throw caught by Komet. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. The drag route. We used to say this is day one install. Every single offense in the NFL has this sort of route, especially for the tight end position. And depending on the speed and the run after catch ability of the tight end, sometimes it can lead to some of the biggest gains. On the ground, it's Swift. And he'll get past the marker. So he's got a first down on that gain of five. This is an RPO, and quickly they'll hit Allen. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. On the give, here's Swift. And nothing on that one back to the line of scrimmage, and that is it. Running back looked a little unsure of himself on that carry there, Mike. You have to think back to that fumble earlier in the game. How much is that still weighing on his mind? He didn't really seem to attack that hole like we've seen in the past. He gets stopped for no gain. On third down, it's Williams. And it's to the end zone, but they can't get it. It's incomplete. There's a saying on defense, Mike, tips and overthrows, you've got to get those. Those got to turn into interceptions. So if you're the offense here, after you saw that ball batted in the air, man, I can promise you it felt like a lifetime waiting to see if it just falls harmlessly to the ground. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Bears are back within a point. It's 14-13. The 
both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Spears now to return it. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. It's easy to make your quarterback look good when you can just get open as easily as he has in this game so far. I mean, he had the big first half, remember. But here in the second half, he just continues to add to these numbers here in the third quarter. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Levis. There, under a heavy rush, he goes down. What I loved about this play, Mike, was the body language of the middle linebacker before the ball was snapped. We see so often they get antsy. They start tipping the blitz, and then the offensive line and the running back is able to pick them up. And in this case, it didn't look before the snap like he was going to come. He times it perfectly. Nobody accounted for him, and he records the sack. So after the loss on first... Here's second and 14. Off the play pick, it's Levis. Throw over the middle, brought in by Hopkins. Levis. Quickly out wide. He'll get it to Hopkins. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. Contact up front. Did they get one of the defenders to jump? On third down, they'll set up to throw. This is caught. He's got a long way to go. I think it's safe to assume that is not how they envisioned that third down play call going. And now after going backwards, it's going to bring up fourth down. The Titans punching unit comes out to the field. As he is on to kick it away. about the coverage there. Met and dropped before he can get a return go. And he just continues to chew off more and more yardage with every single carry. And you can see here with the numbers, Mike, for as strong as he was in the first half, it almost looks like he's gotten even stronger now here in the second. On first and ten, it's Williams. And he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. If they win this game, this pass rush is going to be a big reason why. The five sacks speak for itself, but their ability to disrupt the timing of this offense, that can't be overstated. Second down, it's a run with Swift. And he'll get a couple here, but it's going to set up a third and long. Yeah, 
Oh, maybe a free play as he'll look to throw it. That ball is caught on the sideline and both feet inbounds. A big third down pickup for a first down. Williams. He'll try and get there on the ground. That's a really good effort on third down, just trying to make something happen. He did well to get what he got, but it's not enough for a first. Punt team out. Ready to send this one away. As he'll come on to punt this one away. This is taken at the 25. Oh, hello. He is stopped in his tracks on that one. They made sure that return was not going any farther. It's a carry by Pollard. And he'll manage to get this ahead for a pickup of five. Again, it's Pollard. And it'll be a pickup of three. So third down, forthcoming. Now, following the run, one of the offensive linemen leading the way is a bit shaken up. So as they look at the injured player, we'll take a timeout. He's got enough for the first down. Let's wait for the mark. Yes, that run, that's enough to move the chains. From the gun, they'll give it. It's power. Not much there. Maybe a yard. going to make the play caller happy good run eight yards much more manageable third down coming up up the middle here comes Pollard and he will have a Titans first down they get five on third and one. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring them for a huge game. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. Little play action with Levis. This one is caught downfield by Ridley. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the 10. It's a big one for Tennessee. 33 yards.
So the big play changes the complexion of things. It's first and goal now from just inside the 10-yard line. Out of the shotgun, Levis. This one caught at the four. And they'll get this down to the three, but no further. It'll be second and goal. Tight end, the motion man to the right. Throwing on second down, Levis. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Throughout this entire game, we've really seen this quarterback operate very efficiently, not only being able to spread the ball to multiple playmakers, Mike, but really complete a high percentage of his passes. So can't let that last incomplete break what's been a really nice rhythm so far. From the gun, it's Levis. Nowhere to go, he is taken down. Sometimes you just have to know when the play is over and live to play another down. He has pressure coming right at him. And instead of just throwing the ball away, he tries to escape, he tries to get creative, and he ends up losing a lot more yards than he should have. Fourth down, the veteran Nick Folk will try it for Tennessee. This from 30 yards out. Folk's kick is good. And the Titans will extend their third quarter lead. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Carter on the return he'll work his way across the 25 yard line the Bears offense make their way out to take over once more they trail by four a touchdown gives them the lead drive begins with first and ten They'll put Everett in motion here. And he'll only get it to the 26-yard line, setting up second and long. Working out of the gun, here's Williams. On the out, connected with Allen. He had their lone touchdown of the game earlier, and he comes through with the catch and a first down in this spot. Ah, uh, give up the middle with Swift. He'll be taken down after a gain of two. So these teams trade field goals in the third as we come to the end of the quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. He'll come up on a second down and eight. On the bootleg, it's Williams. Throw right side, caught by Odunze.
Here's a third down and four. On third down, it's Williams from the gun. His second grab on this drive, good for 11 yards, but most importantly, a first down. As this game continues to come down to the wire, Mike, it just reminds us, this is where quarterbacks earn their keep. You are judged by how you play in these critical moments in fourth quarter, down a score, it doesn't get much bigger than this. From the 39, here's a first and 10. A zone read here, and he's going to keep this himself. And nothing doing on that one. He'll go down behind the line. The decision whether to keep the ball or to hand it to the back happens so fast. In this case, the quarterback thinks it was a keep read. The defense was there ready to stop him. Tackle for loss. So they go backwards on first down. Here's second and 13. He'll take a shot here. Back to the end zone. That is going to be hauled in. He's got it. D.J. Moore. Touchdown, Bears. What a game this has been. Back and forth we go. And that fourth quarter score changes the lead one more time. And we've seen the lead go back and forth, Mike. And now the question is, can they get a stop? Can they find a way defensively to hang on to this lead and get themselves this big win? Now remember, all scoring plays are reviewed. Tight game, tight call. They're going to take a good long look at this one. The question, did he get his hands around the football in the end zone? If he did, it's a touchdown. But this one's going to need very close scrutiny. So, ruled a touchdown originally. They didn't find any reason to overturn it, and it stays on the board. Now this, an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. It's up and through. And the Bears go up by a field goal as they lead it by three. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. Now return coming from the seven. A good return as he takes it across the 30. First and ten. Levis to throw. Connecting with his tight end, Okonkwo. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Don't get that often during the season. First play of the drive picks up 29 yards. He might be a tight end by position definition, Mike. But this guy is a bona fide playmaker with the ball in his hands. And we're just seeing this more and more across the league. These guys have such a natural ability to pick up yards after the catch. And, man, it does wonders for an offense when you don't always have to throw the ball far to pick up big gains. Levis to throw on first and ten. He's going to get it to Ocampo. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. Now, someone up front 
moves early. Can't continue to make these mistakes if you're trying to mount a big comeback. On play action, here's Levis. And that one is incomplete. Penalty flag down back in the backfield in the area of holding. On second down, left. He'll look middle here, caught by Boyd. That will make third down a little more manageable. Good yardage gained on that one. The key to good route running, Mike, is deceiving the man covering you into thinking you're doing one thing, and then you change it and do the other. And in this case, he had the defender thinking this was a vertical downfield route. And then next thing you know, he gets to his break point, he breaks in, and that ball's put right on the money for a big pickup. the gun on third down here's Levis he'll look for Pollard out of the backfield and great determination as he gets forward and picks up the first down nice pickup here to the back and what really stands out about this drive is the ability of the quarterback to really spread the ball around to multiple targets and put so much pressure on the defense deciding who do they want to account for because no matter who they try to take away quarterbacks doing a nice job of finding the open man Levis to throw it here on first down. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and inches. Here's Levis. Throw over the middle. Brought in by Hopkins. And this drive's going to continue. He's taken down, but they are set up with first and goal. The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. Levis to throw. Quick throw here is complete. And he can't get away. They rally to the football on defense and bring him down for no game. I think the rest of those receivers in the huddle have all come to the realization that they might not be getting a target anytime soon. And frankly, I don't blame them. I mean, they're riding the hot hand, and rightfully so. Until this defense proves that they can stop him in the passing game, I expect the quarterback to just continue to go back to him time and time again. And he's close to the goal line, but they're going to mark him short. Put him down at the one. For the lead, here is third and goal. No try and run. Here's Pollard. A dive, and he's in. Tony Pollard. Touchdown, Tennessee. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. So on third and goal, they run it in. Sometimes, Greg, that's four down territory. They didn't need to do it on fourth down. Taking care of it on the third down for the touchdown. Yeah, and when you find yourself down here this close, Mike, you have to finish these drives off. I'm with you. I think he was going to give his back two shots there to punch it in, but he only needed one. Folks, extra point is good. And the Titans have taken a four-point advantage. Oh. 
So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. Carter on the return. And this is not going to wind up anywhere near the landing zone. So they're going to blow it dead. And they'll bring the ball out to start at the 40-yard line. break the huddle coming up now for first and ten they'll run here Boom. he makes one man miss but stop quickly as they hold him to a gain of one On the ground. Well, that looked like a pretty clear hold. The gain was five, but let's check the call. They'll stick to the ground, and that won't help a lot. Manages a yard for that run. Third and long, coming up. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. And that is brought in. Still going. And he's going to take this one all the way. 86 yards. Touchdown, Chicago. A beautiful combination in the air there. The pass downfield and bringing it the rest of the way into the end zone for the touchdown. And it's really just a great route, Mike, and then a beautiful throw. The accuracy of the throw is what allowed the receiver not only to secure the catch, but then be able to turn it up and finish the play and find himself in the end zone. Now this, an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. It's up and good. And the Bears go up by three. It's 27 to 24. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. The return starts from the five. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Out comes the Tennessee offense. They get set to see what they can do. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides. As this drive kicks off with first and ten. Throwing is Levis. Oh, in trouble. Down he goes. At this point in the game, you find yourself trailing. There's only so many possessions left here in regulation. And now after that first down sack, this is on the verge of being another wasted possession, and they're getting pretty close here to desperation time. The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. 
A second down throw here for Levis. Really just been a combination of errors here on this drive. I mean, the sack on first down put him in a bad spot. Then the incompletion there trying to gain it back on second. And now they find themselves in a critical third down here. Or they're facing a three and out. What can they do here? This is third and forever. To throw is Levis. He's got his man. That's four. A big connection to flip the field as they get across midfield on that one. It's a big play when they needed it the most. An even 40 yards. Big time play there as they try to cut into this fourth quarter deficit. At this point in the game, Mike, remember, you're just going to get a couple more possessions. So you have to make the most of them, especially with the lead being this close for the taking. There's no need to rush, but you have to execute your offense and make sure you end this drive with points. And he'll work forward for about four. It's second down. Nice job by the defense. They had that one well read from the beginning, Mike. Someone's responsible for the running back, but the key here was the defender responsible for the quarterback. Stays with him, keeps him to a short game. To throw is Levis. There's that man again. Another catch. A gain of 11 on that one. First down for Tennessee. Here in the fourth quarter, you just can't predict how many possessions you have left for the remainder of the game. So you can't let any of them go to waste. So far, this has been a fantastic drive. It's a drive that they desperately needed. They continue to throw the ball like that. They got a chance to take a late lead here in the fourth quarter. The left side into the hands of Hopkins. Here's a second and 12. On the bootleg, it's Levis. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Can't exactly put my finger on it, but it just seems like this entire game, like this passing game and this quarterback specifically, they've just been off. And whether it's missing these big shots downfield like he did there, or just simple underneath layups, there's just something about him today that doesn't look right, and I think it's a big part of the reason they find themselves trailing here in the fourth quarter. Quickly out wide, you'll get it to Hopkins. Well, this one is in reverse again. They're going to lose more yardage here, and it's going to bring up fourth down. Man, what a big-time play here by the corner. It feels like he knew that play was coming before the ball was even snapped. You can see he sticks his foot in the ground and bursts. He ends that play before it even has a chance to get started. This one has plenty of leg. And it is good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. And this is where it pays to have a kicker you can trust, Mike. I mean, this is as big a spot as there is. Fourth quarter, what does he do? He comes out and he delivers to tie up this game. All even. Fourth quarter, everything we've wanted. What's in store in the remaining time? Across the 20, they'll mark him down before the 25-yard line. And that's where the offense will take over. Out comes the number one overall pick, Caleb Williams, and the rest of the Chicago offense. And as we take you through some of the highlights so far, you're going to see a lot of passing yards. He has carved up this defense over 300 yards passing in the game and has been sharp right from the start. Here is first and 10. They'll run. 
a gain of four as he's taken down. Two minutes remain in the fourth quarter. We'll come back and finish this one off. After this, here comes second down. They'll drop the throw. This one taken in by Ogunja. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. They get 18 on that one. Good for a Bears first down. Working out of the gun, here's Williams. That is left side and taken in by Allen. And he'll be out of bounds, but not before he gets inside the 35-yard line. They get 21 on that one. First down, Chicago. You want to be a star in the NFL, Mike? These are the high-pressure moments that you can't shy away from. The greats, they embrace it. Tie ball game fourth quarter the game is on the line everyone in the stadium knows where that ball is going and I can't blame him and he'll get forward for a couple it's second down the Titans will use the first of their timeouts they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining set up third down here's a timeout Tennessee it'll be their second they'll talk things over before third down going to use the last of their timeouts here as they'll discuss what's to come as fourth down is looming. So now the Brazilian-born Cairo Santos in a big spot. This to grab a late lead. This kick is... Good! They move out front and take the lead here in the fourth quarter. And this has been such a tight game, but that's a big one right there. I mean, you need a kicker with confidence. Well, this guy, he fits the bill. He steps up and knocks it through to give his guys a lead here in the fourth quarter. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Spears now to return it. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. The Titans' offense and receiver Calvin Ridley set to take over for this drop. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. Shotgun, Levis. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Here is second and seven. From the gun, it's Levis. And he's got it! some late 
Night Magic. They've taken the lead here in the final minute of play. They find the end zone through the air. Greg, that is one of the most popular plays because it works so often. You're right, Mike. We see it all the time. It's a four vertical concept. But the key is you've got to stretch the defense and put pressure on the secondary. That's exactly what they were able to do here. They take advantage and they go deep for six. Now, Folk, on for the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Titans have taken a four-point advantage. the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. Carter on the return. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. Here's first down. From the shotgun, it's Williams. And it's complete to the sideline. Nice job getting both feet down in bounds. He's over 100 receiving yards on the afternoon now. And a first down to boot. Here's Williams now to throw. That's complete. Some more on the right side. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Two timeouts still in their back pocket. It's first and ten. To throw, it's Williams. Right back to Moore, another grab. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. This is first and ten. Williams to the air once more. To the left side, into the hands of Moore. The Bears go ahead, take their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. Throwing again, Williams. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, Mike, they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. On third down, it's Williams. That is incomplete, so the task gets more difficult. Time for maybe two plays. That's it. A little miscommunication there. Now brings up third down. It just doesn't appear that the quarterback and the wide receiver were on the same page on that last pass. Here we go. This is fourth down. 
They'll indeed go. It's Williams. Got his man at the six. And he'll be out of bounds at the five. They get the conversion with a gain of 22. Given the circumstances here trailing in the fourth quarter, clearly a four-down territory situation. Nice job giving his quarterback somewhere to go with the ball, but with this fresh set of downs, first and goal, they've got to come away with six. Here we go, first and goal. Here we go, one final play. Final minute of play. That is yet another touchdown pass. What a game he is having, throwing his fourth touchdown score of the game. It's one thing, Mike, to throw four touchdowns, but it's really the ease in which he's carved this defense up that has stood out the most. The defense has had no answers for this passing game, and he has just completely had his way with this group. Just one second, all that remains in the football game as the kick is away. And this one is fielded in the end zone, will not be returned. So it'll come out to the 30. They'll come up for first and 10. Here's Levis. That's deep, looking for Boyd. And that's going to be incomplete. The defense holds here in the final minute, and they're going to get out of here with a victory. So this one in the win column for the Bears. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. But in the end, Got a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. And that is the difference in this one. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Olson. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Bears get the win at home, as we say so long from along the lakefront at Soldier Field in Chicago.